if I'm paying that much from a restaurant, but like you're literally making this on the street and you're charging the same price as it would be a restaurant. Why London is so much cheaper than San Francisco. What up internet world? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. Boo is like across the street doing something. So I said, great, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i be right here. I'm gonna go make a video and uh, yeah, let's make a video. I thought I would talk about some of the pricing here in London versus some of the pricing here in, in San Francisco where I'm from. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I, I live in SF and um, there are a lot of things here that I see that are a, a lot cheaper than, than back home. The number one thing I noticed that is much, much cheaper than back home is just going out to eat, right? Just going out to eat. So for example, in SF, I used to go to falafel shops all the time, right? I used to be obsessed with falafel shops and now I've got to the point where I don't really go to falafel shops in the city that much anymore because it seems like every six months to every three months, the, the prices literally go up and go up and go up. I remember when you can get a, like a falafel wrap for like $7 at the spot I used to go to, and now it's more like, it's getting close to like $12. So I'm, I'm just kind of like, I'm good. I'm pretty sure about in two years from now, it'll probably be like $15 for like a falafel wrap, a sandwich, right? And then if you want fries, those will probably be $8, you know? Then if you want a drink, that'll probably be $5, right? I, I'm just kind of guessing to just, if you look at the rate of inflation and how some of these prices in SF are raising their prices like insane. But on the flip side, let's talk about London. Now, earlier today, Boo and I was out and we're walking around um, near like the like this business area. And I noticed that uh, they were setting up this little market, right, on the street. And at this little market, what they would do is they would just sell like street food, right? All sorts of street food, um, yeah, all sorts of vendors. Maybe there's like 20 different vendors there. And it was um, this little falafel stand, right? I think it was called Falafel King. I I've uh, had, you know, Falafel King um, hella times. And we stopped there and it was like, I think it was like 450 or four pounds for a falafel, right? So that's like, what, $5 for a sandwich? I wanna, actually, I wanna ask you guys something. Where in SF can you go get a sandwich for $5, right? You know, if, you, if you're watching this mess up, put in the comments, like, where in SF you can get a sandwich for $5, because I don't know, right? What else I've noticed? Okay, when you go out to, like, places like um, a food shop, right? So you guys know back home, I always go to Whole Foods. In Whole Foods, you go normal price, you get Beyond Burgers. They're like, I'm just using Beyond Burgers because this is just something that I, I see and it's also something I eat. So whenever you go to maybe uh, Whole Foods, Beyond Burgers is like $6.99, right? Or no, $5.99, so $6. You go to Safeway, Beyond Burger never goes on sale. It's always $7.99. But here, at, um, here in London, multiple places I've went to, Beyond Burger 2-pack is um, like 450 pounds, right? So 450 pounds would be about five dollars, maybe 550, maybe five, somewhere between five dollars and 550. I don't know when, when when you guys are gonna watch this video. I'm pretty sure the currency is gonna fluctuate, but we'll whatever the price is, it's cheaper than what it would be in the U.S. Right? That is just kind of a that's just kind of annoying. You know, it's just like why is everything cheaper like over here versus like where where, where I come from? And also when we talk about street food in San Francisco. It's just street food is something like I don't really eat because street food is like a ripoff, bro. And what I mean by street food is like a ripoff in San Francisco. Okay, at Embarcadero and Market, there's like this place at the ferry building. They always sell like street food. It's literally the biggest ripoff because you'll go and get street food and it's someone like cooking food at like this little tent, right? They will charge you the same exact price if you went to a restaurant. So you might get a sandwich, like a falafel wrap, because there's there's some people that sell falafels. I forget how much the falafels are. Like, I wouldn't even eat there because it costs so much. I think it's like $12 or $15 or maybe, even, I think it's like $15 for a falafel down there. And, it, and it's like, I get it if I'm paying that much from a restaurant, but like, you're literally making this crap on the street and you're charging the same price as it would be a restaurant. And that's another thing about um, food trucks in America. Like, that's one reason I, I like refuse to eat at food trucks. Because you'll go to a food truck, they will literally charge more money at a food truck than a restaurant would charge. So if you're watching this video from you know the UK or you're watching this video from London, let that sink in for a second. Food trucks in San Francisco, which we call roach coaches, like people that don't eat food, um, people that don't eat from food trucks, they call them roach roach coaches. They literally cost more than what you would get like from a, a store that you can actually go and sit down and use the bathroom. Kind of insane, right? So I'm just now coming to the conclusion that food in America is a complete ripoff. Like it is, especially like going out to eat. Like there are no deals. Like if you're if you're hungry right now and you only had 
like five dollars right let's just say four pounds because five dollars is roughly like four pounds right if you only had five dollars you could literally go to mcdonald's and get a beyond burger for five dollars four pounds four pounds ten cents or something if you're watching this from the u.s where anywhere in america can you get a beyond burger for five dollars okay let's re let's re-ask that question again where anywhere in america can you get a beyond burger for less than ten dollars bro Literally, you can get Beyond Burgers like hella cheaper. Food is so much cheaper. Um, it's just one thing I I've noticed. Okay, the two, the train. So when I've been here to London, maybe this is my sixth time, right? And on this trip, I've rode the underground, like the tube more on this trip than I have on all the other trips I've been here combined, right? And I think there's a couple of reasons why I don't, I, I just avoid the trains. Another thing, it, it's really, really hot when you go downstairs. That's probably the main thing. And it's really, I don't really know the price, right? Whenever you get on like the, the tube and like you, you can use Apple Pay to pay. But like it always shows up on like my bank card like two days later. It never shows up like the same day. And then I never know how much it costs. Like if you get on at zone one and you get off at zone one that's one cost but if you get on at zone one and you get off at zone two that's cheaper than if you stayed in zone one like it's just really confusing and there's like seven or eight or six different zones or something like that so if you you know got on zone six and you got off at zone two that might be cheaper than if you got on zone two and got off at zone four like it's just really really confusing so you know that, that's just one one thing i kind of don't like about the tube also london is massive bro it is freaking massive i'm the type of person whenever i go places i like to walk and see things when you go underground it's kind of hard to see anything because you are underground if you take the the buses um the buses the double decker buses they're really awesome but on the flip side when you take the double decker buses they take forever because they get stuck in traffic. We are on a double-decker bus like two days ago and we were like sitting at this like one intersection for I think like 10 minutes because it was like construction going on. It was like a Sunday or something like that. That's just something to throw out there. Like in the last couple of times I was here, I would always rent those bikes. And sometimes renting a bike, especially in London, renting a bike and let's say you, you have like five miles to go, it might be way faster to rent a bike and ride the bike, like one of those Santana bikes. Um, if you're familiar in San Francisco, we, we call them the Ford Go bikes. It could be like way faster. And once again, I don't exactly know the cost of the bus. Um, last time I was here, someone told me that you can pay like six pounds and you can ride the bus like all day for 24 hours or something like that. Once again, it's one of those things i don't know how much it costs right <laughs> i'm making this video and i still don't know how much it costs so if, if, if you're from london let me know in the comments down below like it's kind of just one of those things okay so what about nightlife and going out now one thing i've noticed um happy hour seems to be like happy hour seems to be the thing around here right you go out around five o'clock six o'clock bro places are smashed like the places are so busy people are getting off work it's very common that you'll walk down alleys and you'll see hella people like standing in the alley drinking right hella people now back in san francisco two neighborhoods i know that have really really hot happy hour specials is north beach and also the castro and these places have really hot specials so the castro i've been to the castro hella times some places in the castro for happy hour there's like two for one some places for happy hour it's three for one bro let that say three for one you buy one drink and you get two you get two drinks free right some places they have one dollar well drinks bro now that's happy hour but usually you will go to you know a place in castro or north beach during happy hour and they'll have those deals prices are so cheap and there's no one there <laughs> literally the bars are completely empty and it, it, it's like super cheap and like no one goes out like I see the culture here is a little bit different. Like people like go out a lot more. Like people go out, socialize a whole lot more versus back in San Francisco. I feel like people just don't go out that much. People just socialize like through the internet. People socialize through, you know, you know, maybe people that they work with or maybe they just hang out with family. Like it's a little, it's, it's a little bit different here. Like maybe it's um more of a melting pot here and maybe back in SF it's not so much of it's not so much of a melting pot. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure this out. Like, it, it's just been a random day, it's a random video. Thought I would, uh, you know, stop and make a video talking about cost. I see Boo is coming over here, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. But if you guys wanna know, um, if you guys have any other questions about like things in London or any other video ideas, let me know down in the comments below because I would love to make more videos talking about random stuff. Um, in, in London, since I've 
you know, haven't been traveling for some time because we had that, you know, big closure two years ago and now things are getting back to normal in some parts of the world <laughs> and other parts of the world things are uh, kind of slow and boring you know yeah but anyway like comment subscribe i want to wrap this video up i'll see y'all later and peace out yo